welcome you to the 126th commencement exercise of Holgate High School, commemorating the accomplishments of the class of 2020. I'm Brian Hughes, and it is my honor to be the principal of Holgate High School. It is with some disappointment that we bring you our commencement ceremony in this fashion. This is certainly not how we prefer to celebrate our seniors, but we're making the very best of the situation. It has been a privilege for me to serve the senior class, the families, and the community as high school principal. Each senior class is special in their own right, and this group of 32 seniors is certainly no exception. First, I'd like to recognize and thank some deserving individuals. I want to acknowledge our superintendent and board of education members who work hard to provide the resources and opportunities for all students to reach their fullest potential. We are proud of our faculty and staff here at Hogate. I would like to thank all of them for their heart and commitment to our students. That has never been more evident than in these past few months. Thank you to our senior class advisor, Mrs. Kathy Buckles, for her role in organizing the ceremony and transforming the auditorium today, along with everyone who helped with today's commencement exercises. I would also like to thank all of our parents and community members for the guidance, love, and support you have shared with these graduates along their educational journeys up to this point. Each of you have contributed to the success these young men and women have achieved. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize various groups of this graduating class for the many accomplishments they've achieved. The first group of students I would like to recognize are those students who earn academic honors. The class of 2020 has 11 students graduating with the principal's honor, three students graduating cum laude, five students graduating magna cum laude, five students graduating summa cum laude, and nine students graduating with an honors diploma. It is no small feat to earn these awards, and certainly they are worth recognizing this afternoon. The next group of students I would like to recognize are our athletes. This class will be remembered as the leaders of the first eight-man football team in school history going 8-0, leading the cross-country, the boys' cross-country team to the state and back-to-back -back GMC championships, bringing home a state championship and a state runner-up in cheerleading, numerous individual state placers at cross-country, track, and gymnastics, district championships, and league championships. Those are some terrific accomplishments. Imagine what more might have been in that list if the year had not been cut short by the pandemic. At this time, I would like to recognize a class valedictorian and salutatorian. The top two students in this year's graduating class are valedictorian Riley Schuler and salutatorian Lauren Oakley. Riley is the daughter of Stephen Elizabeth Schuler. She is graduating as valedictorian with a 4.0 GPA. Riley is a foreign sport scholar athlete earning a varsity letter 14 times. She participates in track, cheerleading, gymnastics, volleyball, and club gymnastics. She received all-conference first team for track each year, earned all-conference academic team, and uh, participated in the 2019-2020 gymnastics meets. She's, a, she's also a member of National Honor Society and Student Council, holding the office of president in each. She volunteers time for the Second and Seven Foundation, is a 4-H Camp Palmer counselor and a member of St. Paul Lutheran Church and Youth Group. Riley is a member of Hogate Hustlers 4-H Club and serves as its secretary. She participates in FFA, holds the Office of Secretary, and has received her Greenhand, Chapter, and State FFA degrees. Riley plans to attend the Ohio State University to major in biology with a minor in nutrition and pharmaceutical sciences. Good afternoon, Holgate High School. Dream as if you'll live forever, live as if you'll die tomorrow. This was the chosen motto for our class. Although the motto has a different meaning than it did when we chose it. Pre-coronavirus, the class of 2020 was living their best lives. The motto fit our class well due to our ability to make everything enjoyable. After a global pandemic, this motto takes a whole new meaning. Live as if you'll die tomorrow. Our senior year was in the palm of our hands, but suddenly everything changed. We went home from school not knowing what the rest of our year would look like. 
it felt like our senior year had died. Through my high school years, I could not help but look forward to my final year, my one last go around with all of my classmates. This one was ours. The idea of a commencement ceremony with all of my classmates filled me with gratitude. I watched multiple classes graduate. During each ceremony, I would imagine myself going through the same motions as the graduates. I envisioned myself sitting in the purple chairs with my white cap and gown on, seeing a pit of excitement trail over each of my classmates. I pictured that our small class would be just like every other class. However, it took a global pandemic for us to realize that we are not, in fact, like the others. This class has taken a step ahead. As young adults, we have learned to improvise and overcome real world scenarios, while also trying to plan for the remainder of our lives. We have moved to online classes. We have given up prom, a last sports season, time with our teachers, and even a normal commencement ceremony. But here we are, the class of 2020, the year of the coronavirus. Even with part of our senior year dying, the class of 2020 only looks towards positive outcomes. Dreaming as if you'll live forever is easy. We've overcome obstacles that make nothing seem out of reach. Living as if you'll die tomorrow, we're taking in every moment, being present for ourselves. We understand the importance of finding the light in every situation. It is with great honor that I am able to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. The class that shows resilience in the face of adversity. I know the class of 2020 is destined for great things. I know how much potential is eagerly waiting to be explored. I wish you all nothing but the best in the future. I am beyond excited to see where this challenge leads us. It is my honor to award the class of 2020 Senior Skip Day Champions. Thank you. Lauren is the daughter of Tim and Shonda Oakley. She is graduating as a salutatorian with a 3.98 GPA. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Art Club, and is a teacher's aide. Lauren has been a scholar athlete during her high school career, participating in cross country and track. Outside of school, Lauren is an active member of Sacred Heart Catholic Church. She was also a member of the Sacred Heart Tornado CYO State Runner Up basketball team. Lauren plans to attend Northwest State Community College, where she will receive the Presidential Scholarship to major in accounting. She then plans to further her education by pursuing her bachelor's degree at Bowling Green State University. Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. My name is Lauren Oakley and as salutatory in my class, I would like to welcome the special guests joining our class on this important day. We welcome members of the Board of Education, Holgate Local Superintendent Mrs. Kelly Myers, and Holgate High School Principal Mr. Brian Hughes. I would like to thank the teachers and staff of Holgate Local School for their help and guidance as we made our way through the past 13 years of our education. We know the class of 2020 has great things ahead of them, despite the events from the past few months. Thank you to everyone who is helping us celebrate. Congratulations both Riley and Lauren on these high achievements. It takes a numerous amount of self-discipline and dedication to attain these levels of academic success. Those character traits, along with so many others you possess, will carry you far in life. Without further ado, would Superintendent Mrs. Kelly Myers please take her place at the diploma table. It is my honor to inform you that the young men and women assembled with us this afternoon have completed the academic requirements as set forth by the State of Ohio and the Holgate Board of Education and are now qualified to receive their high school diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Holgate Board of Education members, Mr. Greg Thomas, Mrs. Darlene Hoffman, Mrs. Liza Schuler, Mr. Brian Post, and Mr. Adam Ice, I present to you the Holgate graduation class of 2020 for conferring of diplomas. Now, parents, when you come in, this is the part where we usually ask you to hold your applause until all diplomas are distributed, but I think under these circumstances, I encourage you to cheer loudly for your graduate. Graduating with principal honors, 4-H honor cords, and a member of National Honor Society, Ethan Christopher Altman. Thank you. 
with Principal Honors and Secretary of the Student Council and National Honor Society, Sierra Jules Delmares.
cum laude with an honors diploma, 4-H honor boards, and a member of National Honor Society, Cassandra Allison Parsons.
with an honors diploma, vice president of National Honor Society, and secretary of the senior class, Raina Michelle Willett. I want to thank everyone who is watching from TV 26 WNHO. It's unfortunate we couldn't all be together, but this is a special way to memorialize this momentous occasion for our seniors. In closing, one thing that is true for everyone is that we all face adversity in life. If anything, the events of your life up to this point have prepared you to overcome challenges. I have no doubt that the class of 2020 will not just be future leaders, but current leaders as you make your way into the world. It is your response to the tough times that will shape your lives. There is so much to be learned from struggling. How you respond to difficult circumstances will ultimately determine your outcome. And we are so proud of how you guys have responded. While the circumstances of this pandemic have posed many challenges, you have all decided to respond in positive ways to enjoy the culmination of this part of your journeys. Do not let these events control your memory of this special time. Enjoy what you have earned, remember the things you've learned, and go after your dreams. And with that, it is my honor and privilege to present the graduates of Colgate High School, Class of 2020.